Welcome back, adventurers, to the adventures of the warrior queens of the Mediterranean. And uh, in the last episode, uh, we hybridized our culture. We formed the Mediterranean culture out of the Greco-Nubian and Catalan cultures. We are focused on the sea, obviously, but also on agrarian uh, culture. And we have our eyes set on the Shebadid uh, realm there in the south east. Egypt and Palestine is uh, what we want. Uh, we want the Nile Delta and the holy city of Jerusalem. Uh, in the meantime, between episodes, I have assigned uh, different vassals to start converting culture. Um, because not all counties converted culture when we formed the hybrid culture. As we can see here, there, there are some core counties here, but a lot of them did not join us. So there's that, yeah. Even this one, the, the main Catalan culture that we hybridized the culture with, did not convert so yeah the, just that we are still in the process of converting religion as well it's making decent progress I guess and uh, we're trying to develop our culture and uh, build relevant buildings here um, Alexandria is a bit of a nuisance with uh, low control growth is still wrong culture and religion but we didn't want to switch our marshal our daughter Isabel to um, control because she's managing the royal guards to make our knights more effective we did uh, recruit some other good knights and uh, our military is at the max uh, for this, and we have one regiment of onages. It isn't full, but that is not that important. Um, vassals, yes. We have some good vassals. Actually, we have two, which is Italy and Asturias. And we have some internal vassals, but that's not going to help us in a war. We still have our eye eyes on Dikernagerd. They were, like, his father was a vassal, um, and one of his vassals, the Iran, was um, not a vassal, uh, an ally. Um, but we lost this one. And, yeah, we wish we could re-establish that we now have a perk where we can propose an alliance but he is at war anyway um and he wouldn't accept and also bulgaria bulgaria is the one realm that is close to accepting right oh it's it's actually gone down from 11 to 14. yeah we could try and convert him but then we need to invest a little money and I'm not sure that will be successful anyway we have enough soldiers ourselves and with the two um, that we do have two allies we do have we should be able to capture this area and um, that's me this this guy he is weaker than us. He has an ally, but together um, we are stronger. Now, because I would rather wage one big war than multiple smaller wars stretched out over decades, I think we should buy some claims. But before we do that, let us see this court event. We have a boy here. My grandson Rivas. Just back from the beach, it seems. 
I find my grandson Kriha sitting on the floor surrounded by spilled paint and pieces of canvas for the third time this month. My coaches whisper about him being an artistic genius in the making, but the servants complain about scrubbing the floors free of paint in the wake of his uh, inspirations. It's this guy. This has to stop here for us, or his genius will be nurtured. Well, he is a genius, even though he's an inbred genius. Uh, let's let's nurture his artistic pursuits. Yeah. All right. There is a weapon inspiration and an adventure inspiration, but we don't really want to invest money in that. We can hold court. Yeah. Now I want to see how much time we have. But, um, okay. Hmm. And also, yeah, the other thing that I need to tell you what I have done is I, because I was, uh, I was not giving out the duchy titles because it's well it's just more administration but I have now given out most of the duchy titles I've actually given uh Duke Isabel the uh, the duchy of um, Benevento here and I have given uh, my brother Hiros who is also my steward who was a count here I've given him control of the whole duchy and um, Rodanti, who was also a countess here, I have given her control of the whole Duchy of Corsica. Although she is a drunkard, so yeah. And uh, here in uh, Mallorca, we had Evgenia, she was just a countess of Minorca, and I've given her Mallorca as well. And I give her control of the duchy, even though she is not yet of age, but she is a genius. Yeah. And I change this to Dukisa as it should be, but even the um, the mod we have for like localized names and stuff does not have that. The Greek title for that. And since we have switched to Iberian heritage, yeah, we get the Iberian Infante, which sounds Excuse me, but it sounds infantile to me, and I just don't like it. So, with that out of the way, let us actually go and do something. We need to wait one more year before we can. cultural acceptance. Why? Because he finished. And we have a new uh, diplomacy lifestyle. Feudal favoritism. Countess Amenia has been silently seething all evening, but finally burst as I reach for the almond eggs. I simply cannot understand why you granted the county of Aigirup to Countess Kira. Well, because um, she seemed up to the task and she is of my dynasty. So that is why, Amenia. Yeah. My rightful claim to this land is acknowledged by all. Oh, really? Well, I'm sorry. That's not how I rule. What grave offense have I caused that you should treat me so ignobly? Uh, Kira has qualities that you lack. Mm, yeah. Do not question my decisions again. She's insulted. Um, Kira has qualities that you lack. Most importantly, she is of my dynasty. As our order of the Knights of Jealous grows, uh, we need more land for us to organize our defense of the faith. The city of Kefaloidon, Kefalidion is perfectly suited to our purpose and we wish to lease it. Where is this? Before I grant it to you. Ah, it's part of Messini. Um, and we have Mayor Stephanos there, who seems to be a very capable mayor. He has a child that is of my dynasty. 
Oh, and it's for see the key. I see. I see. Um. Or. That is it. Oh, in Cyprus. Wouldn't that do just as well? Well, he also seems very capable. Uh, I think we go for that. Yeah. I'm sorry, Hana. But, um, yeah. Hana and Salma. Um... A scheme at court, spy master, my spy master has come to me with grave news, while we do not yet know who someone is plotting against my court, Christina. She's one of my missionaries. And job. Also, yeah, the, 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 the graphics of the, the user interface have changed since we switched to the Iberian heritage. Anyway, uh, Burgoyne Bonifazi. Hmm. She has grown up, but she is barren. Although barren in our game just means half as fertile. So, um, what shall we do with her? Um, let's see if we can find a spouse. Reset to default. Adult. Um, with high prowess. Still looking for that. Yeah, there's Arsenius who is quite big. Um. Federico who is robust. That's not bad. We will accept. Alright, let's do it. Okay. Excellent. A reading in Panama. It looked like it would be a tedious evening once the feast entertainment was over, but Andrea saved the day by suggesting a reading from Dignes Diorinus. Akiritis. I also love that one. Okay, he's trying to romance me or seduce me. Oh yeah, what's up with this? Rigorous. Ah yeah, cultural acceptance with the Catalans, or because we hybridize, so of course you can't do that. We now need you to promote culture, although I wanted to switch him to um, development, but yeah. Uh, Alexandria, I think. Let's do that. Let's do that. And then after the war, we should set her to control. Yes, we need to hold court, huh? Okay. Snake a court, okay. Let's hold court. Just before Christmas. The provincial merchant steps forward, clearly out of his element in my rich halls. I beckon, come hand, we don't have all day. Here he is, my lady, stems. I'm Zacharias. Presented to disgruntled traders and freemen of Kefalidion, Messini's greatest city. Stephanus, our mayor, fails to maintain even the most rudimentary records. We humbly ask he be replaced by someone else. And Stephanus has high learning, though. Um. Yeah. This election will come early. Pharaoh, you shall be the new. What does Stephanus have to say? And he pays money to me. Okay. Brown will compensate the town's merchant. No, what does Stephanos have to say? 
and he paid money to me because he was actually incompetent. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. As soon as it's his turn to speak, the agitated man in front of me screamed, The end is done now! The signs are clear and everywhere the people of the country of Benevento know it all too well. Disorders, bandits, deeds, violence, the disappearance of justice among men. The day of judgment is upon us. There's only one way for us to be saved. Mortify the flesh and pour blood for your salvation. Repent now, for the day is nigh. Uh, salvation must be achieved through every means. Flagellant? No, I do not want that. Nonsense. Burn this raving heretic or take this fool out of my sight. Uh, is he a heretic? Well, if he says that we need to mortify our flesh, that does not fit with our interpretation of the faith. So, yeah, burn this raving heretic. Rivals in agreement. I recognize the next set of petitioners immediately. They are Count Nazar of Tunis and Ultafa, a pair that are well known for their intense rivalry. Really, they are not arguing with each other. My lord begins Count Nazar of Tunis. We have to tell you that many in your realm are intensely dissatisfied with the current tax regime. They find it to be unjustifiably extortionate. Nazar and Ultafa acting as one well on this only indicates to me that the problem is serious. So he is the Count of Tunis. Yeah. I want to replace him with someone of my dynasty and give her the duchy. But I do not have a reason to replace him at this moment. And Ultafa is his sister. Okay. And she is married matrilineally. To this guy. She's 61 and he's 20. This makes no sense whatsoever. Okay. Um, I'm unsure. I'm sure if you looked at this another way and I try to convince them to drop the matter, but I gain unworthy ruler. Ooh. Tafa, I am not your enemy. He is, and I successfully exploit the rivalry between them. Perhaps you'd back those words up with steel. Oh, I agree, I shall lower the taxes. Uh, I will not lower the taxes. Um... Prowess challenge. I'm too old for a prowess challenge. I guess I will try intrigue. And I successfully manipulated them. That is great. Alright, my business here is done. And we can call a hunt, but we're not um we're not very stressed out. So. Alright, what do we want here? Duke of Conquest, title creation comes minus 20%, able to use the Duke of Conquest, Castle's Belly, mm, forced vassalage down the line, accomplished forger, flexible truces. I won't live long enough to really see much result from that, I think. But maybe, maybe go down this way. Uh, maybe. All right. A few moments. And there it is. We have been burdened with your oppressive laws for far too long. No more, we are done paying your taxes. My subjects really don't like paying taxes now, do they? And they enjoy so much benefit from our rule. How ungrateful they are. Um, a peasant's lot is to serve their lord. And this is peasant uprising. Yes, I know. Where is the problem? Here in Alexandria. It's just there. It's just there. Yeah. Okay. Well, and uh, we'll send some soldiers over there. 
Um, I guess we'll, we'll gather right here. Because otherwise we have to pay shipping. And I don't want that. And I'm sure we have some troops here. Would make sense, right? This is like an exclave surrounded by enemies. So, um, let us move over here and then just do the men at arms. Ah, huh, we have a new knight bleeding this. What is the feminine form of the knight? Uh, cautious leader. No, I don't want a cautious leader. I think Isabel should take this. Or like Rigorous, aggressive attacker. Leave none alive. Does he still have any? No, 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 no. He's not a big one anymore. Um, Isabel. You are going to take over governing this realm. You should know how to deal with peasant revolts. There we go. And back is over. And force our demands. And then we gain locals pacified. That is nice. Let's ban our armies. 13 is not worth the trouble of keeping alive. So burn him. Okay, so now we are at zero control again. Okay, that is not good. That is not good. The n what, 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 what? Your neighbor Vasilis Constan Constantius is won against King Gavril of Bulgaria in the Vasilia Romion de Jura war for the county of Verea. And uh, that's Verea, isn't it? In Greek. There is somewhere around here. This is very uh, mm. Assuming that's what they were fighting over. So they are now very weak. An alliance with them would be useless at this point. An alliance with the uh, Byzantines, though, would make a lot of sense. But they are very reluctant. And I don't have anyone... Yeah, I have grandsons, but it doesn't give us an alliance. Actually, they will accept it, but it doesn't give us an alliance. So, no use. Okay, uh, we'll have to take this on by ourselves. It is just a few more weeks until the truce runs out. Okay, that is good. Do we have any other... No, no factions against us. Isn't that lovely? What's happening here? Ah, yeah, that's what usually happens. So, I assigned her to be the... A duchess, right? Dukisa. Um, but those two vassals are not happy with uh, the results. Yeah, unfortunately, there is little I can do about that. Okay, now we should be able to declare war upon these Egyptians. But we need claims. We have some claims, 
We have claims on this because that was our grandfather's heritage, I think. Uh, but we want we want this. So we need to buy some claims. Um, let us first go for Delta. I want a claim on the Delta. Buy claim, Emirate of Delta. Okay, four stress now. Okay, I guess one of my friends died or something. Uh, buy claim. Right, and then this one also. We want a claim on that. Right. And then we should probably get this county here that connects the two. Alfarama. Take them of Alfarama. And now we are gaining stress. It's just a little bit, but yeah. And uh, should we go all the way up to Beirut? Or should we also get Cairo? And maybe Sulum here so we can get the, um, the duchy title or Alexandria. We're not really interested in the stuff down here, but Siva, they can keep that. We still have almost 2,000 piety. Should we get this duchy as well? I mean, it is pretty sweet, right? on the river Nile. Blood Plains? I think so. Yeah. This one is not yet created though. That is a bit of a bummer. What can we get from him? We can't get the Sultanate because we're already a queen. Uh, the Shekdom of Massa is just a county that count then we need to buy separate claims on like Al Fayum and Giza that's not something I am keen to do pretty good. Take Massa then. This one, Cairo. The other bank. It makes sense, right? To take the whole Nile Delta here. Yeah, okay, let's do it. And then he has nothing left. He will take something else, of course, from one of his uh, vassals, but... Okay. 
And then up here we have um, this duchy or dun. We're not really interested in this on the other side of the Jordan River. But if we only take the county of Akka, we can't build the duchy building. And they will claim this back. So maybe we should just go for this. Didn't we already buy Philistine? Burden. Claims. Delta Philistine Urdun. Yeah. Is a massa. And then uh, this. So that's across the border. Right? With the Abbasid, so just Beirut. Changing Beirut. Okay. So that is what we are going for, this delta and then here along the coast, including Jerusalem. And we have some piety left, so we might as well get Sulum right now, because we will want it anyway for the, uh, the duchy building here. We need the title. Yeah, if he has, well, if he has that title, but then we get this bit as well with that we don't really want. It doesn't matter, does it? Except this is 500, if we only go for this, is 250, right? Yeah, so, okay, there we go. We have at least some piety left. Alright, now, if I declare war, then for my claims, all my claims. Yeah, so this blue shaded area, oh, it goes down here too, okay. And we get this bit too. No, might as well, right? So mostly the coastal stuff, including Jerusalem and here, Cairo and Giza. Let's do it. It cost us a whopping 1875. Prestige, but that's fine. Now, we already have our flag here, right? Let's put it in Alexandria, actually. Okay. Then raise all armies and a holy order. I'm not going to lead it myself, I'm too old and don't have any prowess left. Maybe Isabel should lead it. And she is our strongest and she's a holy warrior. So, yes. Uh, I do not want to call a hunt. But I do want to call in my allies. Giacomo of Italy. And Alvaro of Asturias. There we go. So we have this army needs a leader as well. Organize a cautious leader, Ormendo. 
my door's old. He will leave this one. And then there is that. And this one is a Swan Hill. Okay. Let's go. Excellent. Just be smart about where you're going. He's learned Greek impressive, send my regards of Alpha Jung. Uh huh, he wants friendship now that we are threatening. Okay, uh, who is this? Tugdent. Politely decline. He gains opinion of us and we lose stress. This is weird. I think. Um. I am waiting for a swift reply. Do we have anything in common? Well, he is an interest in diplomacy. Ah, okay. Thank you for your swift response. Uh, find a point of etiquette. Or the blessings of family. Uh, he's a diplomatic courtier. Foreign Affairs. Find a point of etiquette, I guess. Okay, we have our armies ready. This go. We don't know where our allies will land. That is a bit worrying. Here they are gathered. The Italians are on their way. Uh, we should be strong enough to take on these armies. They're going there. Um, I'm going to get everyone here and then attack from that side. I was pleased to see how invested you are in your passions. Your last letter definitely proves your skill in them. If, since you have indulged me so, I must ask if there's anything I can do for you. Perhaps we can arrange a trade deal. Yeah, that sounds nice. Ooh. Don't want to catch them just after the crossing until everyone is there. Okay. Someone is plotting to kill me. Well, I do have a couple of rivals. That is true. Oh, they're actually... No, we do want to fight them. We do want to fight them before they go to our realm. Um, Damiani and Guardian can be sent for Romelia. Okay, let's do that. She wants a stewardship education, have her study some language. Anglic? I don't think so. Well, I guess French is fine. And you want stewardship. My brother here with us, yeah. If we can stay alive that long. Okay, let's see if we can catch them before they uh, disembark. Yes, we can. Okay, now everybody, come on. And that's where the Italians come as well. A sensual proposal. My coach Andreas has made his way into my life with sweet words and sweeter touches. Late at night I struggle to keep him off my mind. The feeling smoldering between us will soon either burst into flames or die out. So he is my court artificer. He is lustful. And we are 74 years old, but we're still in no. We're in poor health. Okay. Um maybe a flame before our life is extinguished. This is a romance that will burn bright but short. Yes, let's do it. A shiver of anticipation finds its way up my spine as a knock resounds through the stillness of my chambers. Could it be him? I am greeted by Andreas smiling lasciviously, just lust plain on his face. At last, as his arms envelop me, the fiery man just bursts into flames, and the rest of the night is spent in a warm and fiery haze. 
that nun sure knows how to please a woman. Yeah, that they still haven't fixed this. Quite satisfied. My great granddaughter Constantini has been asking me for a stick horse for a long time, and I told her I would get her one for I would get one for her in three months if she displayed more focus in her studies. She responded that she was fine with the current education to her studies. Reward or no reward. Um Yeah. Content, fickle or trusting. No, I guess content it is. Okay, where... Uh, so everyone is here. Yeah. Um, and they are going up there. Their, their armies are going up there as well. Um, they are fighters. They are fighters. These are siegers. Can we, like... Teach their capital, but to send just one army there is kind of dangerous. Right? Okay, let's let them stay here, and then the other two can pursue them. Turns to a board game. And we discovered battlements. Okay. Uh, let me select a new one. So we got battlements. We can now upgrade our castles. What should we go for next? Probably this. Although we are not at 20 development yet. Um, Bergs. Mangonels have better siege weapons. Household soldiers have bigger men at arms regiments. Yeah, I think this is the one to go for. Prerogative, that's nice, but we're doing fine, I think. A game of chess will begin immediately. Do you care for a rousing game of chess? Why do you do this in the middle of a war? So the wager is just about stress. Well, let's see. We haven't done this one. Malik Abd al Nur is already waiting to begin our little chess match. Sat waiting with a competitive grimace writ large across his features. We're neck and neck, though neither of us is even close to victory. Most people, lectures my opponent, don't fully appreciate quite how tricky it is to pull off an Eastern Count's Gambit. Never heard of that one. But okay. Let alone defend against it. Well, I guess we'll play the Sicilian. Uh, I play chess like I fight savagely. Yes, yes, just this planned. Or well, I've read entire manuals on chess. Okay. Learning is countered by Marshall. So he is a intrigue character, and we of course are a learning character. Um Marshall is countered by intrigue. That does not seem like a good choice. this just as planned or oh, i've read entire manuals we are like amazing in learning our match marches on up to al nur continuing with a series of devastatingly innovative strategic plays blasted somehow this man seems to counter every strategy i employ well we are no magnus He's starting to win, though neither of us is even close to victory. I've studied chess extensively, explains my opponent, and I'm sorry to say that by this point I simply don't think there's any way for you to win. Um, just like war is a matter of logistics, it takes a subtle mind to play chess. Well, I know the rules of chess like the back of my hand, Yeah, knowing the rules does not mean you can find winning strategies. Um, let's try Intrigue. It takes a subtle move. And I lost the game. Okay, yeah, because he's good at Intrigue, so... Yeah. Alright. 
Never mind. Howling in bestial triumph up to Alnur leaps to his feet. I have lost. My hand slipped down to my knees searching for support. I am bad at chess? No, he just lost one game. Okay, we'll see who wins next time. Well, the better man won. And, yeah, the better man won. It was a good game. And you were a more formidable opponent than I expected. Okay. Um, yeah, with them we should be able to win. I want to take our coons. And they are retreating here. Yeah. Problem is if they go this way. Ah, the Asturians are coming to help us. Okay. The Dark Cave. One of the children at court, Andipatra, has taken a doll of a younger girl and thrown it into the nearby cave. What is it with these girls? My grandson was there and saw it all happen. Leon flew into a fit of rage and beat Andipatra. Bloody. This didn't help the younger girl who started crying even more. It seems that Leon has trouble controlling his anger. Andipata needed to pay for what she had done, and he keeps the trade wrathful. Or you should have made Andipata to get the toy back. Yeah, that seems to be a better way to deal with this. Okay, wait a moment there. We now control Dumiat, and we took a prisoner. That's fine. Great, we won the siege. They're going to Alexandria. Okay, let us also go to Alexandria and see if we can intercept them. Hopefully they follow us. Because otherwise we might not have enough troops. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is fine. Because this is not fine. That's a good strategy of them. Battle is over, finally. And we go back to beat them there. I have arrived in Panamos to pay homage to you, glorious despotisa, as a show of my loyalty. Count Nasser, yes. Your gifts are extremely welcome. Where are they going? Get out of my way. I need to see that poor sign. Someone should make a mod to make it clear. Either back here, where it was originally, or that these notifications don't um, cover that. Alright, let us follow them. Okay. Um, where do we want to go? I guess to their capital. And they're leaving us here? Oh, are you coming to help us? This is the Siege of Massa. Yeah. That should do it. And this is almost done. Okay. Now control that. We seized a common hammer artifact. Wow. Um, is that all they have? No, they have these. Where are they going? Should we intercept them? Gaza or Jaffa? Let them go to Jaffa. I think they should go here. Help out here. Yeah. is no longer a royal architect. It also means I no longer have a steward and I no longer have a tutor for that poor girl I sent him. And it doesn't show here anymore who was his ward. You can of course go to his court and find out. I don't want to do that right now in the middle of a war. The omen. A local mystic insisted on seeing me and upon being brought into my presence he started wailing. Is that blood on his hands? The signs, the signs are in your favor, my lady. I spilled the intestines of a hen 
and the blood showed me your future. It is glorious. Well, thank you. And a good omen. Medium health boost. That is very nice, but I desperately need a new steward. Melissa of Kanya. Or the Lady Mayor of Pisa. Well, she is definitely better. Seventy-seven percent. I think we should be able to finish this war in a few minutes. The schemer discovered it is Countess Mania of Pugia that's plotting against my courtier Christina. Yeah, well, I'm not uh, surprised. This is a nasty woman. Deaf diplomacy, my Chancellor, Duke of Maria has worked hard to convince our neighboring realms that the peace treaty I entered with Valigaya of Kumeri is flawed, illegitimate and unfair to me. No, he just gave, gave me some money. And child of my dynasty, Apollonia, Rioria, Vasiliki... Irini. Okay. So they are going to fight them. Um, let's station besiegers and also go there. And these also go there. Right. This does not look like it's going very well. Nakuto Master, that is great. That means. Are we sending them over as well? It's just 900 levies. Oh my goodness. We're gonna lose this one. Yeah. Okay, but we won the war anyway, so let's enforce our demands. We get all these. Hostages taken will be released. Okay, that's. That's a pity, because we could have got some ransom money, but it's fine. Disband all armies. And now, look at that. The Mediterranean is spreading out all along the coast. Did all our prison... Well, yeah. Who is this? She's a Shebanid. Okay. And they don't want to pay ransom for her. So despite our final defeat, um, we did win the war because we got um, Babylon, Egypt. Okay. We got Cairo and we got Al Quds, Jerusalem. Right, but now we need to um, distribute these new holdings. So, well, yeah, that was an interesting war, and we have a good expansion here of the realm of the warrior queens of the Mediterranean. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please hit that like button, and check back again next time for further adventures of the warrior queens.